Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for your time and in joining me this afternoon. Most of you know my name is Betty Brown, and I live here in Georgia. I've lived here for the past eight years, and you know what? It sounds strange even saying that because time has passed so quickly. But I need to share a little bit of my background for those of you who may not know so that you can better understand the reason for this message. But first of all, I want to share something with you. <laughs> now, my husband had a stroke 2009. Uh, lots of things was tied to that, but I won't get into that right now because it's not a time for that. But I became a full-time caregiver. Um, getting, after getting him stable, I moved to Georgia, living well, living big, what they call, you know, a 10 bedroom home. So uh, then after all that happened, I got really sick and in the, I went into the hospital for tests. And during that time, the doctor asked me, had something traumatic happened to me? <laughs> yeah, so it really had. And uh, I said, yes. And he said, well, that trauma uh, stressed out your kidneys and you're in kidney failure. I was shocked. I didn't know that stress could do that. So you also need to know, guard your body, watch out for that stress. And the minute you say, oh, it's not bothering me, it really is. And you need to de uh, try to figure out what you can do to de-stress yourself because it did, I went into kidney failure, I had to go on dialysis and moving forward, I got a kidney from my daughter and I have my life back. Uh, I'm not attached to a machine anymore. And, and the machine, of course, filters your blood. So my new kidney does that for me. Thank you, daughter. And so now here I am in need of care myself because I, I can't take care of my husband. So I have to consider putting him in a special home. You don't want to put him in the home unless that's all you have, where the insurance is paid for it because it's not up to my standards. And I wouldn't want to do that to him. So I had to pay cash, hard cash. Those costs are, they start out at 4,000 a month. So uh, when, you, when you look at that, then it's like, okay, but you still gotta live. So needless to say, we had to downsize so that I could afford to put him into the place that would take care of him in the manner in which he was accustomed and that would fit what my expectations were for, for his care. So in doing all of that, needless to say, it drained me financially. And I couldn't go out and get a job, not with my current health challenges. So I had a girlfriend who told me about, uh, I was praying actually for an answer. My girlfriend called and she said, well, I want you to take a look at this business and it's travel. I said, girl, travel. The only thing I've ever done is call an airline for myself and maybe called a, a resort. I said, but you know what happened? I was scared every step of the way because I didn't know if the resort was, if the picture was going to be exactly like the resort was, or if it was going to be dangerous there. All those kind of things entered my mind. And then if it wasn't what I thought it should be, then what? And I remember one time my daughter and I took a vacation and we wound up walking up and down the beach searching for a hotel because the one that we booked online in one of those dot com places was a motel you know what kind of uh, insect i'm talking about it was that kind of motel and it had other things that i was not happy with so we were already there so we had to walk up and down until we could find something comparable so uh, that would fit our uh, needs so at any rate those things are not good so i i, I looked into this business and um I said I'd go on and, and try it. So I, I bought a, what we call a travel agency. I did buy it. And within three weeks, uh, I had to go to a funeral. So I went to this funeral and I walked in the hotel and I said, you know what? I'm a travel agent. Can you, what, what do you do? What, how can you help me? And that's how I talked because I didn't know this was something new to me. And he said, well, what's your IATA number? I said, well, now they did tell me I had something called an IATA. So I searched through my stuff. And I found the number and I gave it to him. He said, okay, I'll give you this much of a perk. So I got it. I was like, dang, that was cool. <laughs> so I said, well, now this is working. So I was happy about that. And when I came back home, then I started, I got a little excited about that. And I shared it with three people. By the time I shared it with three people, coupled with the, the discount I got on the hotel, I had gotten my investment back. 
I was like, wait, now this is going to work out good. So I was happy about that. And so I went on and, and I said, so, okay, I think this might be something that I can, that I can work out. But you know what? Someone told me years ago, uh, because I had had no experience that I could have said, I'm not going to do that. I've never done travel before. A wealthy man told me, condemnation without investigation is the height of ignorance. Whoa. I said, gee whiz. I, I don't consider myself an ignorant person. So that's when I went to researching and and at least I wanted to know what I was saying no to. I wanted to know what I was turning my way, turning my back on and the possibilities, you know. So I said, okay, so then that's when I really dug in there and started uh, seeing what this was all about. So I, it wasn't a contractual agreement. It didn't lock me into anything. And they said, you can come in, you can kick the tires, you know, you can look at it from the inside out. So I felt, well, then this is something I can try. And, you know, I can make an intelligent decision in 30 days if this is something I want to continue. So that's what happened. I did. And then I decided that this was worth my time. And then they started telling me about the successes of other people in there. And I said, well, okay, these are regular people just like me. And I didn't look at it as though, oh, well, they got a degree or they have this experience or they have that experience. No, I looked at it like they're a person, I'm a person. And this company has no respecter of people. You come in there, you do what they did, you get what they got. So <laughs> that's how I feel about everything. So anyway, you know what? This pandemic has made everybody fearful. I'm not going to lie about that. You are operating on your default setting of negativity. You're choosing fear over faith, excuses over effort. And people are always saying, oh, well, you know what? Betty has that personality. She has this, she can do that. But you know what? You see the results. You don't see what happens before I got before this camera right here today. Um, I'm nervous for a week. I'm writing down things. I'm not sleeping. And, you know, I mean, I go through the same thing that everybody else does. But you know what the difference is, is that I'm not going to get from point A to point B until I master these things that are difficult for me. And when they say that you've got to do this to go on and to progress, then that's what I have to do. And if everybody else can do it, then I can do it too. So that's why I prefaced it by saying, if I make mistakes, so what? I'll get better, but I'm gonna keep on doing it, okay? <laughs> but guess what? I'll still get that check too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and what, you just gotta change your mindset, people. None of this is easy, but you know what? It's worth it. And, and you know, what other options do you have right now? <laughs> With my system, we have a personal development section added in for you. It's a $100,000 marketing program attached to this. All the tools, everything you need to do to make this journey worth your time. <laughs> you know, there's a story that, um, uh, I like to talk about Ray Kroc. Anybody know him? You know about McDonald's, you know the story. You know what? You can go buy a McDonald's franchise, quite expensive now, but when I was looking, it was only 40,000, but now they're way up there. But at any rate, my point is, if you go to China, if you go to uh, any part of Asia, if you go to New York, if you go to Alabama, that hamburger is going to be made the exact same way in all of those locations. The pickle is in the same spot. Why? Because in order to buy that franchise, you got to go to McDonald's University. And that's in, uh, located in Oak Brook, Illinois. I've been there, I saw it, because uh, I lived in Illinois. You have to go there and you have to follow all of their rules and regulations in order to even buy the franchise so that now wherever you go, that hamburger is made the same. So you say, well, why is that? Because that's what works. And that's what our system, we have a system in place designed to make you help you be successful. So don't come in thinking, oh, I got all the knowledge. I've done this, this, this. No, come on in and be coachable, be humble. Because we have a proven system that works. We have people making 
thousands of dollars. And I can't really go into that amount because it's not legal, but um, they're there. You call me, you text me, you, you, uh, and I can tell you the facts about what's made. And we have a form, our IRS form, that'll tell you exactly what uh, the people are earning in this business right now that we turn it over to the IRS all the time, which brings me to another point. Yes, it is legal. It's none of those other uh, things. I have filed uh, income tax on this program with a 1099. So you don't have to be concerned about it not being illegal and things like that, because yes, it is very legal. It's over four years old now. And uh, we have close to 60,000 members and it's growing so fast. Uh, so you just need to know all of that, that part too. So I would like to share something with you though. Um, I've been in the black ever since I took that, <laughs> that plunge and, and stepped out on faith, but I did talk about the pandemic and uh, I've had some people ask me, but why travel? Travel isn't working right now. Michael, you know, we want to talk to them about, I want to show them that picture about why travel. And when you hear me refer to Michael, guess what? I have progressed so much. I'm big time now. I have my own marketing technology consultant. Hey, 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 hey. And that's him right there, Michael Damon. Woo, I tell you, this guy is a genius. And you got to talk to me and I'll give you all of the contact information. But he is just he, he is, he's worth his weight in gold. He's phenomenal. So now I want you to see this video. Well, you won't see the video. Um, and I've called the company. I'm trying to get the video, but I want you to take a look at it. This video is put on by the World Travel and Tourism Council. They have for over 30 years been quantifying and reporting on the impact of travel and tourism throughout the world. Now, I want you to take a look at this video, this picture here. Now, you see the first vial there, and those are colored marbles. He talked about, I mean, he says, I'm going to tell you about this industry here, our economy. He said, that first vial I want you to visualize, he said, that is, let me tell you, <laughs> let me go, that is the, uh, what, Starbucks. That's the huge coffee company. How many of us have heard of Starbucks? How many people do we know that drive into Starbucks every single day without fail? How many of us think that Starbucks is successful? How many know that Starbucks is still open during this pandemic? Yes, it is. So you know what? They, that's Starbucks. That's the, uh, that's the equivalent of what Starbucks is in our economy. That's the percentage right there. Now look at the next vial. That's the next largest uh, portion of our economy right now. I would like to know if any of you can guess what that is. That one is health and wellness. Yes, health and wellness. They're up there too. They're double what Starbucks value is, but you're not going to believe it. But the next group of marbles, that is five vials yes that is the travel industry eight trillion dollar industry right now and threatening to double in the next several years so i mean you ask me you you tell me which one do you feel is stable do you think those five vials of marbles <laughs> are going to fall prey to to, to the wellness industry or starbucks Absolutely not. The travel isn't going anywhere, people. We might have a problem here with a cruise ship here and there. That's a, uh, what do they call it? A grain of sand on the beach compared to what travel is? Come on, people, wake up. Don't let these things like that throw you sideways and, and let negative Nancy come and, and throw those thoughts in your head and get you sidetracked. This business is real. This is, this is a real, real industry that you can plug into. And you know what? I was in the wellness industry. I got certified every way you can get certified. I was doing consultations for $125 an hour. Yes, I did. 
and then I had to go into the surgery and the whole bit anyway, it's still a smaller industry. I had to train people, I had to teach people and they would do what I suggested for a month, two months and go right back. They didn't wanna give up the pork chops and all the other stuff. So you know what? It was a never ending battle. It was depressing to me, but you know what? This travel business is going on and whether you tell somebody about travel or not, they're still gonna go. So you might as well be the messenger and tell them about it and benefit from it. So all, all I can say is, is that I have a friend who uh, used to work at Papado's and he now earns more in one month than he did in three years working at Papado's. So you need to know that, and I can give you exact numbers. I can give you his name. I can, you can even see him on some of our, uh, our, our Zoom calls, but that's the inside information. And you, you know, he's very open about what he does. There's many other people who have chosen to do the same. And there's all different kinds of levels of income that you can pick that's comfortable for you. Whatever your, your why is, your desire is, you can get it right here part-time, full-time, whatever you want to do. But you know what? It's easy to investigate this. You'll see my website. Go in my website and look around. There we go. It's a getaway travel. You know what? Zip lining at any age. That was me. I got up there and I tell you, I, I zipped. I did do it. It was, it was fun. And I got to uh, mark that off of uh, my, my bucket list. So we can do those kind of things, but that's my website and it'll give you a lot of information. And I wanted to show you how, when you first get to the front page of the website, uh, it'll show you how it'll give you a lot of examples. There it is. And you see at the top where you can book travel, it'll give you the hot deals. Uh, yeah, the, the, the book travel is, is where we want you to look first because that one will show you how you can just come in there and look around. You can fill out the travel planning request form. You can do all of that and it'll come right to me. And when you do do that though, you see there's a, there I am, a getaway travel uh, and all the information is right there. Uh, book your trip now. You can go in there, you can look around. Uh, deal of the week is there and you know what when they ask for your name and all of that information fill it out because then it goes into my customer packet and my customer uh if that's it when i get my customers uh then i send the company sends them um hot deals on a monthly basis and that's some more of uh, the perks that we get for owning your own travel agency I don't have to do that. I don't have to pay for it. You know, those hot deals will come to you once a month and it's phenomenal. So you want to uh, uh, take advantage of that. There's so many perks on owning your own agency as well as helping family members travel. And uh, you see that dream vacation certification up there, this pin, I wanna make your dreams come true. That's it right there. <laughs> it's amazing. And you know what? You get a lot of perks with this. We won't go into that either, but um, you know, uh, it's just a nice place to be. So I want you to uh, go into my website, take a look around, um, fill out the form, ask any questions that you want. My website is there. Uh, you can read more about me. Um, it'll give you all of the, the, the ways that uh, you can contact me. And there we go. How about that? <laughs> also uh, in there, there's a, a portion there. Yeah, there's a portion where if you want to uh, learn or want to find out about how you can have your own home-based travel business, you can just uh, in, in, uh, put it in there and I'll get the information. You can watch that short uh, video that's three or four or five minutes. And uh, I have a lot more information for you, but it's no cost to do that. It's no cost to submit that and, uh, you know, to, to uh, uh, do the request and I'll get back to you and we can talk about it. Nothing is written in stone. So you don't have to worry about, oh, if I do that, I'm going to be locked in. No, nope. the business is not for everybody. So if it's not for you, that's still okay. That is fine. Uh, you know, there are a lot of things that I don't like to do, but, and there I am, look at there, sitting on a, a, a boat 
a yacht, you know, having a bunch of fun. So, uh, and that's my, uh, my uh, getaway travel on my business page in Facebook. So we have so much going on and, and the company provides all of this, these things for us too, as well as Michael. So I think I've hit just about everything that, uh, that I want to uh, share with you. And I want to leave you with this. Look at where you are now, project five years forward, or better yet, look back five years. What did your life look like back then compared to now? Were there any changes? Are you happy? Did you move forward financially quite a bit? Do you, do you have the prospect of doing that in the future? Are you happy with the results? So you might as well kind of, you, you know, if you, if, if you can answer where um, things haven't changed, but you'd like for them to, just, just go on and investigate, do a little research here, because it's a possibility that this could change your life. And uh, you don't want to pass up an opportunity that might be golden for you. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, so just be blessed, be intentional, your life and you only get one. It is your life and you only get one. Live it with no regrets. I am living mine now unapologetically. Unapolog I am happy. Come join me.